as you've done a lot of test piloting and designing, let's uh, talk a little bit about glider design. So there's a lot of misconceptions and people don't really understand quite how the whole process is being done. First of all, I would like to start from the scratch, like when we start to making some gliders. Like yeah. if we, we want to make a new glider. Let's say we want to make a one high B glider. You know, in the certification, there is A, B, C, D. There yeah. is no high A or low A or, yeah. low, a or low B or high B. It's just yeah. about the passive safety. So yeah. first of all, as a team, we become together, me, uh, other technical part of the group, uh, designer, and we start thinking, okay, for who we want to make this glider? Yeah. And then from that part, how many cells we would like to have? How many, uh, what, what type of character we would like to have? Like uh, how easy it must to be take off, how easy it must to make a shooting or how agility it must be in the thermal. So it depends of the glider, we make a different type of the glider. Depends of the customer, we yeah. make a different type of the gliders. As example, uh, when you talk about uh, inside the glider, like we have uh, many different type of the uh, diagonals, patient tapes that uh, brought us the feeling and feedback from the gliders actually to us. You know, in the past time, the gliders uh, were used to have uh, many lines. And then when we uh, start to uh, using a diagonals, like a side cross fabrics to divide the load on the fabric, so we uh, start to have a less line. As we have a less line, we are gaining uh, the, uh, the weight, mm -hmm. we are gaining to reduce the drag, to have a better performance. But what I would like to link it to the, your question that you were asking for 2.5 riser, two riser, now new generation of two riser on the sea also. Yeah. Uh, it's always become like, a, when do I have to change my glider? What type of the glider is suitable for me? To be realistic, we are a little bit in a summit of the design of paraglider. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, a, uh, airplanes. Airplanes has not been changed in aviation yeah. since very long time. Yeah. We had a big development since paragliding has been a start from 80s yeah. till now. But le recently we tried to improve mostly in the safety yeah. and having a nice balance of the safety and performance. We tried many different aspect ratio, many different of the cells. And we come to the combinations of that uh, certain of the cells number, certain of the aspect ratio is suitable for ENA pilot or for beginner pilot. Yeah. And above that can be called low B, above that we can call it high B, above that we can call it C and D mm -hmm. and CCC. CCC. And we know that there is no glider on CCC over the above the aspect ratio of eight. And we know that maybe the one of the best glider in CCC is 7.5 aspect ratio. Mm. I mean, it has been the. It's like you know, it's like a drone. At the beginning, drones was oh, it's like a UFO. Yeah. And then when the algorithm is fine, even the kids diving at home. Yeah. Now we have a many brands. First, it was only the some numbers of yeah. the brands were doing the C glider, D gliders, or two liners and CCC. Now more and more brands are getting involved because the algorithm has been solved already. Yeah. As we reach some certain of the point that. We are in the summit. We cannot go more for the sea glider. So how we can gain the marketing again? To bring something like a new concept. Yeah, so you're going from the CCCs down to... Two liner to the D, two liner to the C, yeah. two and a half liner for the B, which in my opinion is more about the marketing. The pilot can decide, pilot can uh, research, understand, like when we call it 2.5, from the calculation side, it's not a reality because I have some certain of the number. If I want to be 2.5, I have to reduce like a the, the lines so many numbers. So if you want to calculate it, you see, okay, it's 2.9 maybe. <laughs> and then you see, okay, what would if I have these two more lines on my tips? Because it's like this, the first row is either three or four run, uh, row of the line. Because when the C's go up, it's divided two. Mm -hmm. So if I want to count the loops, it's four loops on the center. And then it's become three. And then in the wind tips, it's two. two. Yeah. So I'm just missing few lines on my tips that bring me a performance. Or reduce. also at the same time, I will have some disadvantage. If I get the collapse, because I do not have the same tension, it will not be recovery or reopen that quick. 
which we could see that in certification or when we do the like a passive safety, like a how quickly the tips get back to flight. But what I, be, I, I want to consider is that for who we are doing it. Mm. You know, sometimes as a test pilot, we do not have a strong empathy about uh, people. Is it really important as, as you or now it's switch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you a question. <laughs> Is it really important for a B category pilot to have very, very, very top speed or reduce uh, drag so much like what they, give, they they will gain? They are, they are losing in the thermal transition. They are losing. Oh, for sure. I, I mean, running. I've done 200 kilometer flights on ENAs. I've Perfect. done them in Bs and Cs and C, no, all the ranges. If you're going to chase performance, you have to sacrifice something. For sure. 